जस्ट नाउ फिनिश्ड वॉचिंग सीता रामम ऑन अमेजॉन प्राइम वीडियो दोस्तों एंड आई मस्ट से वॉर अ लव स्टोरी मैन वॉर एन एक्सलेंट हार्ट वार्मिंग इमोशनल लव स्टोरी यार मीन्स हैप्स ऑफ टू दिस डिरेक्टर Hanu Raghavapudi or something his name is I don't know this director new director or someone seriously what a direction he has given yaar matlab at last seriously it made me emotional yaar what a love story yaar just to watch this movie excellent love story excellent means no words to say seriously this Hanu Raghavapudi new director is there or something but I must say that after watching this film he is deeply inspired from maniratnam films then even veer zara that yash chopra film seriously after watching veer zara your eyes will be moist after watching that after watching old old maniratnam roja bombay and all those films seriously your eyes will be moist seriously if you watch this movie you'll get that same feeling what a means what a movie he has made here magic magic seriously that love story means no words to say means especially the way he has written the characters the highlight point of this movie is the character arc of both this uh, ram and sita yaar sita ramam means the way he has uh, written the characters of this dulkar salman and this mrunal thakur is mind blowing he has written yaar seriously excellent writing excellent means seriously that character means they are so lovable seriously you just get connect with them yaar you just get spark with them after watching this means too good too good writing and direction is excellent by this director along with the writing and direction the costume and set design and the art direction seriously wow man wow especially the songs means song tunes are decent means song tunes are decent but the way it's picture is right wow man absolutely superb yaar the art direction then the costume locations the sets and everything is superb means it's not looking like they are saying the budget of this movie is some 30 crores it is not looking like a 30 crore movie it is looking like a 100 crore movie yaar seriously means absolutely is budget mein is itna acha set design or costumes that period it's like a period movie basically 1960s then 1980s it's a period past it's about the past but the sets and everything the design and everything is absolutely superb seriously and talking about the performance what to say means the characters are so well written that the actors automatically will perform yaar and dulkar salman seriously what handsomeness what charm seriously the way he'll try to woo that uh, heroine sita and everything is absolutely brilliant means dulkar salman this role is tailor made for dulkar salman absolutely even the army those battle and everything is there seriously even the torture scenes and everything he is absolutely fantastic tailor made role for dulkar salman awesome awesome and one extra marks has to be given to his acting performance and his efforts seriously he is a malayalam uh, hero means he is a malayalam star and he is coming in telugu and he is dubbing it fluently in telugu is dubbing then even tamil is dubbing means fluently there is no uh, mistakes or anything means fluently is dubbing and even i heard that in hindi it released i regret wa not watching this movie in theaters but in hindi also he has dubbed his own voice so seriously extra marks should be given and what about sita means wow man wow absolutely after a long time seriously a heroine is acting so well in the movie yaar means absolutely brilliant what a acting performance by mrunal thakur as sita means this is her career best performance and nowadays especially female actress very lucky to get such a good role and written role by a director very lucky she is extremely lucky to get such a role seriously what a powerful role yaar what a powerful role and what a acting performance seriously the dance she is doing then the walk in umbrella means the walk in umbrella then everything yaar words are not enough to describe you just watch it watch it and feel the magic seriously and the director has given such a powerful character here sita is having another character arc more than the hero also noor jahan seriously in the in interval in the interval there is a suspense that she is princess noor jahan sita is just a disguised name disguised name just to get closer to ram and everything have a conversation with ram and everything so you just see that characters that character so powerful it is saying that princess noor jahan has left all the property sacrificed all the properties and everything left all her wealth and fell for a man who is earning only 600 rupees per month she left all her wealth so if this is not a powerful character i really don't know what it is means generally in indian films romantic indian films or whatever it is means romance whenever they show that hero will be extremely powerful means 70 30 means hero will have the 70% and 30% heroine is just there for glamour and just for sidekick that's it but here it is i would say it is like 
60 40 means in favor of Sita, that character. Awesome, awesome. Very lucky to get such a role in this current generation. Superb, superb. Means that Noor Jahan character is simply adding spark to that chemistry. What a chemistry between Nunal Thakur and Dulkar Salman. No doubt, awesome. That's why this movie name is also Sita Ramam, not Ram or Sita. Along with the hero and heroine, the Dulkar Salman and Munal Thakur, they have given spectacular performances. Even that Rashmika Mundu, shockingly, she has also acted really well. Means her character is also strong, yaar. Her character as that Wahida, that Pakistani girl, seriously is very strong, that character. Not very strong like Sita and this thing, but it's strong. Not there just for this. Means she's basically connecting Ram and Sita and solving the things. She is having the communications with those past life of whoever was there present in that Ram and Sita's life. So she's just connecting the dots of this, uh, connecting the dots of this plot. So seriously, her character is also very well acted and very well presented. Her performance is also good. Then another is there, Vishnu. Means that the villain is there basically anti means negative, not entirely negative, but negative. That character, Vishnu character, whoever has played Vishnu sir, that army officer Vishnu sir, his performance is also brilliant. I don't know that actor's name, but his performance is brilliant. Last letter suspense is there, means his character adds little more value to the film, means adds more value to the film. So these four actors have value in the film and their characters are well written, well performed. And many actors are there, many talented, talented actors are there in this movie. Prakash Raj and many Muldi Sharman, many actors are there. Okay. Their characters are not that powerful, means they are basically there just for the film. That's all. Sidekicks. That's it. Not that much powerful or anything. Even another is there that Rashmika Mandana's uh, assistant is there. Means who is their assistant who will be going there, here and there. His character, his comedy is also good. Means they both will be solving the plot and everything. So his character is also good. But other than that, many actors are there in this movie. So many actors, their character is not that powerful. That is, might be you can consider this as a negative. And talking about the music, seriously, whoever has given the music means songs are decent. Songs are decent. The presentation, visualization of the songs, right? The scenery of the songs, it's adding the weightage of the songs. Tunes are decent and BGM is absolutely superb. BGM is gelling well with the love stories, adding more spark into the romance. So overall, I had a wonderful time watching this movie. Seriously, it's heart touching movie. I'm telling you a great, powerful love story. After a long time, I'm watching such a value of sacrifices they are showing. Then you see the politics across the border. What is happening? What manipulation is happening? You just watch it in the first 20 minutes of the movie. You see how it is happening in the last climax of the movie. Also, you see how the politics politically how they are manipulating and everything and you see the how at the climax how that Dulkar Salman will kill the terrorist and the way the director has presented the scene and everything you just watch this it's a brilliant movie yeah, brilliant such a strong powerful heart touching love story after a long time I'm watching this director Hanu Raghav Pudi seriously is a new director he has directed a very nice heart touching movie yeah. he's inspired from old Yash Chopra and Mani Ratnam sir Seriously, old late great Yash Chopra Saab and Maniratnam sir is inspired. Means those type of films it will remind you.